Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are on this planet. Gianluca Massi is speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project. Once again, it's a pleasure for me to be here, just uh, ready to share a few images. I just uh, took about the moon, the super moon, the last super moon of the year, and uh, before the clouds actually completely covered our sky. So it's a pleasure for me to be here and it's always a joy for the Virtual Telescope Project to bring the beauty of the cosmos to you live online via the internet. We really love the technology when it makes possible for us to share something happening up there in the sky with you in real time. Actually, these images were collected minutes ago and because I had to go in a very special place on Rome in order to capture some memorable views and share them with you. As I said, unfortunately, clouds were filling almost the entire sky and my imaging session suffered significantly because of the interference of the moon. But that said, in these minutes I would like to share some of these images and uh, that is uh, the first one I really want to share. This is uh, this supermoon, the Egos 2022 supermoon just setting at our local down beside the St. Peter Dome. I really think this image, despite the clouds, can uh, really give you an idea of the beauty of uh, our uh, natural satellite when it combines with elements from our own planet, even the clouds. Well, I must admit that I would have preferred to have clear sky because I just uh, carefully calculated where to go to image the full moon, the super moon, setting just beside the St. Peter Dome. But uh, last night it rained significantly here in Rome and uh, I feel myself lucky, no matter the clouds I see there because it could be much worse. And I really think that uh, such a sight is still rewarding. The moon is there, it was uh, ready to go, ready to set and uh, I was uh, happy to image and just now happy to share with you such a capture. Other than this I also add another beautiful sight just waiting be before I, I could even leave the place once I saw so many clouds around, but as there were several holes in that direction, I just waited and uh, with some luck I could really capture this image too, just uh, showing almost the entire full supermoon again just uh, approaching the horizon, the western horizon, up down here in Rome, and uh, I still hope that this view can be rewarding for you as well. And uh, I, it is this, I mean, it is uh, happening often when you have something important you really want to see, you really want to image, be sure that Murphy is ready to add it, his contribution and he will do something to make you less happy than you wanted to be. And, uh, Again, I still feel me. I still feel myself lucky for being able at least to see, capture, and share this with you. Really hope that the view will bring to you the same excitement I had while imaging, while having fun with this, my friends. Then I, I still want to take to show you another image. which was later, the four images I selected are actually sorted in time. The first one was earlier and so on. Here it is uh, again the moon now fighting against uh, much more clouds than earlier and uh, still approaching the, the horizon being uh, lower and lower 
on the southwestern horizon and i think it is amazing to see uh, so well also the legendary St. peter dome you can even read so easily the latin uh, words just on the on the on the wall on the side of the St. peter basilica the main side the one you are seeing here and of course the legendary dome well, well in principle here we are not in rome i mean i was in rome but St. peter dome is part of another country that is uh, the vatican state but i don't think it is uh, completely wrong to say that this is also a flag a symbol of rome my friends now let me see if i can share even uh, something more the last image i could capture before the moon went completely lost in the clouds and uh, as i said i really hope this uh, will bring to you the same joy the same experience the same feeling i had at least without the best feelings because of the clouds trust me friends the sky was uh, 80 percent clear but it was uh, just in the direction of the moon that I had more clouds. And I say, of course, because <laughs> this is uh, typical uh, from uh, Murphy, you know, and uh, I still was very happy I could capture uh, an handful of images to bring to you in real time the last 2022 supermoon, I mean, the August 2022 supermoon, the last supermoon of four in a row. And uh, I think that uh, these images, as I said, are still enjoyable. I want to share them again from the first one when uh, we, we were still, uh, I mean, uh, in the darkness while the sun was approaching of course it was down but as you can see we had just uh, a few light around and this is why you clearly see the i mean the darkness and uh, the, this envelope of darkness just embracing the san peter basilica with the moon just on behind its shoulders and even behind a layer of clouds this is the best image i could capture i mean the this is the the image where the moon is showing at its largest i never had a better view with more moon and uh, in my images in my sight so as i said i feel lucky i could capture this image too also because i really believe that the monuments of the St. Peter Basilica and Dome are truly venerable monuments just adding something to the experience. I am obsessed by the idea to put together the night sky, its main phenomena, its main events, to put them together with uh, something from Rome, the Colosseum, St. Peter Dome, and um, the Spanish steps and many more things because I really think that the experience the putting together the nice sky and our home planet could be truly amazing and I really love working uh, just at twilight because in, in particular when I want to image the full moon because in the middle of the night the full moon is basically basically dazzling and it is hard just to read the environments because it is dark it is black after all when you see uh, an image captured in the middle of the night with a very nice um, night panorama and a, a well exposed moon it is of course a composition because just uh, the full moon is just uh, uh, imaging the full moon is just uh, like imaging uh, uh, an earth uh, scenery under broad daylight so if you see the full moon well exposed with the, is a dark 
uh, spots, the lunar seas, and you can see, and, and you also see in the same image, a very well uh, exposed uh, night, night panorama. It is, of course, a composition, not a, a single shot, as I always prefer to do. This is another image, just making sure you can uh, enjoy, if you just join it, you can see all the four images I decided to share with you, my friends. And uh, at the very end, here it is uh, the last image of the four shots I decided to capture and share with you. Actually, I had many more images, but uh, these are for me the best. Assuming I yet to do, I yet to accept the clouds, these are the best ones, perhaps even taking a bit of benefit from the clouds and themselves. That said, my friends, I was happy to bring to you this. I hope you appreciated the opportunity of offered for free by the virtual telescope to bring to you this experience from Rome. While looking at this, personally is much more better. I still believe that if you are not in Rome, the opportunity offered by the Virtual Telescope project is still of interest and uh, I strongly invite you to join the Virtual Telescope project Facebook page just to be sure you will be, uh, you, you will be prompted, you will be just advised the next time we will go live online with something special happening somewhere out there in our universe. And the Virtual Telescope Project is also proud to acknowledge its technological partners and uh, they are Uniton Italian Instruments, Software BISC, C-Web and uh, Telescope Live. If you believe that the Virtual Telescope is worth your support for what we are doing, you can just check on the, on the internet our reputation. We are featured regularly by the most important uh, media on the planet, please consider supporting us with a small donation because while uh, these events are free, of course, what we, what we are doing, it is not free because you have to go there, you have to reach that place, you have to take images, you have to take care of your equipment, you need to do maintenance at the observatory and so on. If you want to support us, it is just very easy visit our website virtualtelescope.au and look for the donate section there. That's all my friends, Gianluca Massi, Virtual Telescope Project is just uh, sending you his uh, best wishes and greetings, hoping you had fun with us and um, even more hoping you will enjoy looking up always. Take care, Gianluca Massi, Virtual Telescope Project.